I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. All set up and we're ready to get this thing started. He really got a hold of that kick. Tries to get around the corner. Down the sideline. He gets hit out of bounds. Around the 47-yard line. So the offense will come out in opponent's territory for their first drive of the game. They couldn't have asked for better field position than this. Now he tries to buy some time. And he can't get away from the pressure. You know, Brad, that time the defense brought the blitz, and I think it confused the offensive line. It's one thing to pick up the blitz, but you also have to be accountable for the defensive lineman. And that time the lineman got to the quarterback and came up with a sack. From the 49-yard line, let's go, let's go. second down. Flips it, middle to the running back. He tackles him for a loss. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. Offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Now it's second and long after the penalty. He's got it with room to run. They'll bring him down at about the 45. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Just about three yards there. Not much of a gain for the wide receiver, but at least he made the catch and got himself some positive yards. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Fires that quickly incomplete. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. He's got it out to his tight end. Knocked out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. You talk about a dual threat guy, this guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. He's scrambling, room around the corner. He'll take it himself. Tackle made at about the 47 yard line. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. Makes the catch and look out. He's tackled around the 38-yard line. From the 40-yard line, it's third down. He's taken down around the 33-yard line. The offense gets a first down here. You've got to give them some credit. But really, this is more about the defense. When, when a defense gets an offense to third down and medium, you've got to be able to put pressure on a quarterback, especially when they're passing the football. And try to get your own offense the ball back. And that time, they let their own offense down. Brought down at the 25. That's good for a game. That makes it 
Mike Green, Mike Green. Fumble, fumble, fumble. Yeah. And they got him for a loss. Call the loss of four yards. That makes it third and seven. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. Down he goes, around the 24-yard line. Quick out to his receiver. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. Makes it out to about the 16. And the goal line defense digging in here. He's taken down at about the 15-yard line. Game of one yard. Roger, Roger. That, that brings up second and nine. Looking for the corner. The 10. Touchdown, Brigham Young. Outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. And he converts the extra point. So a 13 play, 81 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 24. The Cougars are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. That's a two that makes it second and eight. Let's go, let's go. And got two. Check out, check out. Tackled after a decent pickup. Good for a game of six yards. Third down. Third down. He makes his way to about the 48. A nice third down conversion there. This offense has a tendency to run the football in this situation, as you can see, with good reason. Henderson gains around three yards on that draw play. That makes it second and six. He carries the ball for a nice game. He makes the tackle. Call it a gain of seven yards. First down. Got it to the senior. And he is drilled at the 31-yard line. From the 31-yard line. First down. He scrambled. He gets sacked on the play. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. 7-0, BYU. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Catches it, and that's all. That'll bring up third and four. Let's go, let's go. Tries to fit it in there, but it's picked off. And he hits him hard at the 21. 
He seemed a little hesitant on that throw. And that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. From their own 21-yard line, it's first down. Brigham Young is up by a touchdown. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. And he's tackled at the 26. He's on the run. And they make the stop right around the 40. Fires it out. And he tackles him hard at the 47-yard line. around the 48-yard line. Gets it out quickly. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. And this play is number eight on the drive. That quickly to the tailback, and he shoved out of bounds at the 34. And they get nice yardage on that run. Brigham Young up seven points. Fights forward to about the 26. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. And this is the 12th play of the drive. He's scrambling. They'll bring him down at about the 19-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. Pass incomplete. This is a well-designed play by the offensive coordinator. Everything really seemed to be working just fine, except for the quarterback. It's got to throw a better football. The defense gets their fourth chance to make a stop here on third down. He makes it to the 15-yard line. That'll make it fourth and six. Brigham Young is hoping to make this a two-score game. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Well, oh, really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around with the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think Follow the offensive coordinator. Take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. That's 
a great tackle at the 43. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offense a first down. That was a very good-looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 46 yard line. He throws. Zips it to the back. Tackle made at the 41. Makes the tackle. Call it a gain of five yards. That'll make it third and five. Scrambling around. And he's level at the 33. Gain of eight on the play. First down. Somebody jumped early down there. False start. Offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. So the penalty makes it first and 15. Steps out at the 35-yard line. Maybe three yards that time on the pass. This young wide receiver has the raw ability to make some big plays. So that was a good job there by the defense to stop him for a short game. Got a man tackled for a loss. They lose seven yards on that play. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Here's the eighth play of the series. Strike to his receiver, no good. So it's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. Kicks up. And he just didn't have the leg for this one. They head to the sideline with nothing to show for that drive. So our count is still 10-0 BYU. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Here's an opening. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. He's tackled right around the 10-yard line. Hey, this could potentially turn this football game around. They're down by a couple scores, but if you're the offense and you're on the sideline and you're not feeling good about yourself and your defense comes up with an interception like that, boy, oh, boy, you're grabbing your helmet and sprinting on that field, and you're ready to go. From the 10-yard line, first down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. Let's go, let's go. Throws out and through his hands. coming and he can't get away from the pressure fourth and long here after the sack and they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here
It's up, and he got it. So both teams will go to the locker room looking to make some adjustments and find some second-half offense. 10-3, Cougars. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Defense has been dominant in this game. Yards very hard to come by. But David, as we get deeper and deeper into this game, the natural assumption is that the pressure goes to the offense to do something. No. How much pressure is on the defense not to make that catastrophic mistake? Well, that, that's, the, that's the conundrum you get in. I mean, it makes it exceptionally tough because you want to play perfect and you want to get them to punt every single time, but it's not the way it works. And it's those big plays that you usually see that kill the defenses and break their backs. And you can hold them great, Reese, on first down, second down, it's third and long. You're in a perfect situation. You give up that one play for 80, and it changes the whole complexion of the game. So I think you got to have a little bit of both. It can't just be great defense the whole time. Usually the teams that play great defense can keep you in it, but only for so long. At some point, that offense has to get something going. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And he just got stood up right there. They're ready to begin another drive. Brigham Young is up a score. He's going to try and scramble. He's taken down around the 35-yard line. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. hit immediately. It's second and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. He's scrambling. Brought down around the 33 yard line. That's a deal of seven on the way. That makes it 33. He gets rid of this one. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Brigham Young can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he nails the long field goal. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. He's out of bounds at the 27. Initially, it was called a catch, but now we're going to find out for sure if he at least had one foot in and possession of the ball before he went out of bounds. 
So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. So the call on the field will be reversed from their own 23-yard line. Second down. He might not be able to get the pass off. And he's taken down around the 43-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. And they got him. Second down and 11. Ball on their own 42. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's knocked out of bounds at the 40. That's a game of 18. Man, left, man, left. That so makes it first and 10. Check three, check three, check three. Let's go, let's go. And we got Mike coming down. Three, three. He passes it. Has it to the senior. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, and a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A four-play, 77-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. So the score now, 13-10. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Fielded at the four. Gets to about the 27-yard line. The Bulldogs have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Brigham Young is up by three. And down he goes at the 36-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. He fights forward to about the 43. Scrambled. And he's tackled at the 43 yard line. He gets rid of this one. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. It's hit out of bounds around the 30-yard line. Brigham Young has a three-point lead. He fights forward to about the 29. Just 
throws this one away. Here's play number 10 on the drive. He's looking for six. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Kicks away. And it's good. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Louisiana Tech's come out of the locker room after the halftime, and they got a whole different approach going here offensively. Yeah, I think the one thing I'm recognizing is just more about the execution. I think they're, they're doing a good job of sticking to the fundamentals of the game plan, but I think they're doing a better job of executing their game plan and stuff like that. Gets it, he's in space. And they make the stop at about the 31. That'll make it second and four. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Good for a game of six yards. First down. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. He will be intended to see the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. Set, Up the middle for a nice game. Call it a game of seven yards. That makes it third and three. Slings it out there incomplete. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. He takes it in at the 14. Tackle at the 27-yard line. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Brigham Young is up by six. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And they get nice yardage on that run. Another run. Nice run there. Gain of six yards. That'll make it seven and four. Zero, zero, Mike three. Let's go. Back to the running back, and he gets nowhere. So with one quarter remaining, the Cougars in front, 16-10. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. You've got to wonder here, early in the fourth quarter, if that stop and a play like that might be the momentum swing this team needs to win it. That makes it fourth and four. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He really got a hold of that one. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. 
Well, here we are early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight ball game. And every possession is going to count from here on out. They'll bring him down at about the 21. made around the 22-yard line. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. Tackle right around the 26-yard line. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Gets to about the 41-yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Brigham Young with a six-point lead. Quick throw to the tight end. To the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, BYU! And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. Scrambling around, and he's in for two. like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Cougars have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it set up their offense to be able to score points. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Here's an opening. He makes his way to about the 42. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's tackled at about the 47-yard line. Two times, two times. First down. He's scrambling. They bring him down. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. Fires out to his wideout. They'll drop in for a loss. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Third and even longer now after the penalty. Let's go, let's go. Fires incomplete, knocked away. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. Tackled at the 25-yard line. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. 
They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Just over two minutes in the game. With the misdirection, good outside run there. The defense had a great opportunity there, and they let it go. This is an offense that's clearly working clock. They've got to get more aggressive defensively and attack the line of scrimmage to be able to slow down this offense from getting first down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Louisiana Tech will take their second time out of the half. They're about four yards away here on second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Good pickup, and with a new set of downs, a chance to kill even more time. The Bulldogs using their third and last timeout. He tackles him for a loss. Takes him down behind the line. Call it a loss of one yard. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 48 yard line. Second down. Runs left and quickly taken down. That makes it third and eleven. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. should do it. Our final tally of this one, 24-10, BYU. That brings this broadcast to a close. 3A Sports and Kirk Herb Street. I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.